Aluwala and I am a practice head uh, of mobile user experience and response web design at Endeavor Software. And uh, my topic is co-creation, a formative UX, mobile UX approach. But before that, you know, I would like to uh, tell you, you know, why we came up with this and what it is giving me an advantage and all. So first of all, uh, I, I came up from IIT Bombay and then I started my own career as a freelancer and I have seen a lot of ups and downs and then I went to join a Kyushar Wireless as a, one of the design studio founder, Deepak, myself and Kiran were the founder. We grew up almost 24 member team in five years, three months to be exactly and after Mindfree acquired everything slows down and then I joined this organization called Endeavor Software. Pretty bunch of people, uh, uh, entrepreneurs and all those things. They were 50 people. Okay, fine, I can speak this. <laughs> okay, and uh, on top of it, uh, when I joined, it was uh, only one member show, that is myself. myself. And uh, today I have almost four, close to four years and we are 20 member team right there. So my question is, or my thought process is, I am not trying to talk about anything related to UX or CX. I am not talking about any research or any methodology or certain things. I am talking about very pure perspective of a designer and a business. Because to grow a team from a one, pen, a one person to 24 in Kyocera Wireless or in a current organization, it's tough. I hope you understand that. So my point is there are certain, certain things that will help you out to create your team, to build a team, to build a culture to make some money, to make some bucks. That's what I'm talking about. And also you can try to get your founders or your organizations, senior management to put the value in, into your system, right? So that's what I'm talking about. And, uh, okay. And another thing is, uh, see, in, in all these uh, uh, building, while well, building a business or practice, be it in KOSA Wireless, later on it's Mindtree, and then uh, moving on to, Endeavor, uh, we have gone through tremendous uh, failure, right? And that is what we have learned so far. How many people have uh, uh, attended Mark uh, workshop today morning? Lecture and workshop, right? He was talking about, right, uh, uh, the circle with the center, the circle on a periphery, circle is, the dot is outside of circle and the co-creation, right? I have never heard it so far, but this is what I figured it out by my own mistakes. So what I'm trying to say is we actually build a team or a culture that helps to foster the creative in a very deep level. That's what I'm talking about. You know, why I'm telling you this particular in mobile or in RWD, really people don't know what they want, as a lot of people say. Right? Some company comes with some mobile, okay, I want it mobile, mobile application, I need web application, I need hybrid application, I need this, I need that. And they come in the market and they started asking, do you have this, do you have this, do you have this expertise? Right? They don't understand ki why they need to come to a responsive web design strategy or a mobile application or a hybrid application or web app. It's like gung ho, everybody is swimming, let me swim also. How many, how many fell then? Right? At the same time, <coughs> the irony is this, I have this much timeline also only. You need to come up with something called wow mobile application. I want killer experience. I want to have my market share going down, my completer increase one, two, three level. I want to have my market share back. Do something in agile. Right? Or in lean. Right? But the timeline is this. And when we talk about certain money and all, how many people are dealing with the business here? Oh, quite a few. Good. Do you think so that's a challenge or not? But, but what are we talking about? Always I have seen, see I have traveled so many places uh, in US, in Singapore, Australia, some places in UK also. But always the designer, they talk always about one thing, design, 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 design. They talk key, we will do user research, we will find the great insight from end user, we will find great, we will give you great UI. We, we, we are getting stuck somewhere other way there only. I am limited for the UX. Why can't we see in something a different perspective? What I am trying to say is, why can't we see 
the business from their point of view. Why can't we shift ourselves as a UX person? See, UX, what we are saying always, we, we understand, we are trying to do user research. We understand, we want to understand, observe, then want to figure it out the inside of the end user, right? Or some of the CXA people say, says, we need to think about the overall customer experience after delivery. My question is, first you think about, you should get an opportunity to prove yourself. You should get an opportunity to convert that, you know, uh, what you can say, the meeting into advantage. How do we do that? That's what I'm talking about. See, in, in, in any, any business, any enterprises, anywhere, the decision maker so far in IT industry are the people who are not belong from design background. I'm not talking about Steve Jobs, by the way. Whose, whose entire philosophy is around the design, right? I'm not talking about Steve Jobs. I'm talking about the majority of people, they don't have a background or a knowledge of this. Yes, they know there are something called usability test, there are something called heuristic evaluation, there's something called user research, visual design, graphic design. They know all those parameters, but they don't know what, what actually happens if they use in a right perspective, right? So we also worked on a very individual level. We, we had also, uh, in, in so far in my all experience, we had this SME, subject matter expert in UX. I'm a usability expert, I'm a usability architect, and we give a very fancy name also to get a lot of things. You know, we have done that. But what happened is eventually, we have started losing a lot of things. We have started getting into bargaining mode, right? See, understand, again I am talking to you. I am talking with the perspective of a designer and a business. We need to, con con whatever we have a visit, we need to transfer into conversion. You have to understand, right? Retail world, same thing here. So what I am trying to say is, it even worked out for us. And when, after after uh, whatever experience I had in uh, uh, KOC Wireless, and then I started initially when I was 250, uh, team, one, of, one person out of the 250 entire organizers trained, and today we are 20 in three and a half years. It's a good growth, 8%. We are 8% of our organization now. Means 400, out of 400 we are 20 people. And our goal is very clear. 35 people by December 2015. How do, how, how do I do that? Will all city UNCO will come and tell you, yes, you know, your ambition is good, let's, let me put money and then it's okay. Do you think so? How many people think so? I, any answer, yes or no? No. No, right? See, what I'm trying to say is, you, you need to come up with something. So that is the reason we have started something called co-creation. So co-creation is a kind of philosophy we are running across our young studio, where we work in a different, different level, different model, and uh, we play a role, a kind of creative role across the level. So sometimes, I have a practice head, but at the same time, I also support uh, a person who is having only just a three months of experience so far. Fresher three months of experience. But a different perspective I'm talking about. Here there is a person called Pramod. He's hardly a six months old in my organization, but he plays very different, different role. How? That's what I want to talk about. We cannot, see every game is own rules, right? And we need to adapt these rules. In mobile, in this, this front, you know, rules is totally different. It's not a subtle. What do, what do I mean, you know? Tomorrow, let's example, I'm a uh, real estate or mortgage company, you know, I am, I am developing something, and uh, there is a huge uh, startup and successful startup, you can say Zillow, they come in a market, and they, they come with very, totally new, new approach of a real estate, you know, ball game altogether. And as an as a old player, what is the problem with me? I, I'm, I'm losing the game. Now, how do we do that? So it's a direct influence for me. As a businessman, I'm a direct influence in me. So they come and they, what they will say, Zillow is doing great. Zillow is con converting high, higher rates, you know. How about, you give me something like that, right? right? Or they don't understand and they want to say, uh, have you heard about RWD? And they don't know what about, what, why you need to use RWD? <laughs> Just they want to say we want responsive web design for our products and services. Why? The, the disconnect is here, you know. So it is it is very fastest growing uh, field so far, and a lot of chaos is there. And that's an opportunity we need to take it as a UX designers, or as a CX designers, whatever you want to say. As a, this is a wonderful opportunity for us if you want to really convert into numbers. Okay. So again, we need to. 
and at the same time also we need to un uh, uh, understand ki we cannot work with the old same style you know we will do understand strategy we will stakeholder in requirement workshops and then we will do user research design research blah 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 and then ui part of it iteration mode everybody knows it so far right but the, the, the problem is still see everybody knows it why the outcome is different is okay why the outcome is different okay sorry see okay so so see this, this is this is the biggest problem with mobility i'm i'm, I'm using the term of mobility and if you see the the problem with the mobile devices or mobility is it's this it is is totally uncontextual fit i was yesterday in yuj workshop i was uh, we were working on certain user research questions and answers uh, i think vinay was leading the group and uh, he asked me a question ki how do you search so everybody in that table all i think seven eight people were there and everybody was talking about that i go on google and search it and i said no i don't go i use epicurus i go uh, martha stewart why i am very much familiar about it i really love it i really like it i really use it it's so convenient to me my question is to you my question is to all of us you ask probably the questions for all of us are you enough do you have enough exposure what you do see if we don't have exposure how can we convert the exposure into a articulation while we talk to any business people or a analyst or an whatever the senior management it is difficult see you need to you need to understand their language you need to understand you the design language too and you need to convert that language into th what they can understand right is like you know i am i am from gujarat i know gujarati if i start speaking gujarati i am sure one or two people only can understand this to people is or the head that's what we do always we understand it's a very simple thing but we don't do practice right so it is it is very contextual sensitive you know my son is just a two and a half years old let me borrow son story from other, uh, that lady right see what i am trying to say is he is very much of familiar about play box on an ipad believe me for him fish can fly i am not joking how many how many how many uh, people you have seen the games or something on an ipad or iphone or android tablet that give you amazing kind of feeling how many people have seen starbucks i know some lady was yesterday talking about some animation movies yesterday i was watching this uh, brave by pixar how many people have seen it right see everybody see when you see that movie and when you see your your kids playing with those kind of thing and he he thinks that fish is flying when in that movie, in that game what happens is there is a lot of balls it comes with the sound on the center and it drops like a gravity okay and when you pull it it also it, it, it like you know gyroscopic way it will, it will move around and when you touch hold it different different Uh, uh animals come like a uh, 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 dog or a fish or a bird or something you know it's very interesting game and my son always now try to see it's not you know jumping in in real fish i'm talking about right so what i'm trying to say is it, it's it's we like to get a new things we like to have a new parameters that can give us a different outlook but what happened is in due course of our professional i am doing this research i am finding this insight i want to provide a solution i want to i want to give a nice this i want to give one on time so much of concern we have we lose that innovation thing as a designer you you think yourself you know when you were in design you are so passionate about certain things i will do this i will do that and the moment you start working and you know it is you started you compromising right and you don't realize also how many people you think that you are still having that inno in innocency same like you were doing design earlier first time or something how many people are raising i want to see do not hand that's the reality why because we fit and mobile is absolutely absolutely uncontextual fit the same thing you you want to design by whatever approach you want to say inside out out approach that is from user research finding and then you want to product derive a product or outside inside approach whatever approach you take the thing is for everybody a mobile context is totally different and that's a very very tricky thing and again as business says ki what we want is by this time right and i want to have my you know market fit product 
right? How many people understand this market fit product and I want to I want to have a rich user experience? Hmm? Sometimes I scratch my head, what do you want rich user experience? Have you heard this kind of terms or is this only for me? Right? Pardon? These are buzzwords, right? So people just gung ho for certain things and they say, and then now, and we also designer has to do certain work here also. This example in one of the Facebook Messenger, I really liked it when uh, your your friends, uh, uh, you know, poke you or probably message you the the uh, that his his photograph come his or her photographs come right on a home screen, right? And when you tap, it will show you what kind of text he or she has sent it, right? But how to how to minimize it or how to close remove it? When first time I saw, I literally saw, wow. That's what his moment is. Everybody wants the one point of time, no, wow. And once something get hits, it's like, it's like become a, you know, it's very transitional, the value is very transitional. So that wow, it's no more wow for me now. It's okay, right? So what I'm trying is the expectations. It's like, as a user, end user, in this world, mobile world, they are, they are, they want, they treat this like a genie. You know, I want to do this, if it doesn't happen, then it sucks. User experience is not good, right? I have seen so many people spending 350 rupees in PVR gold and they play a, you know, whatever, that uh, game in within that uh, movie theater. And I don't understand why he is spending 350 rupees. Engagement perspective. See, for him, that storyline is not uh, uh, helping, but that game is, right? At the same time, there are, after a lot of disruptive, you know, uh, uh, words of success and some success, snap, Snapchat success, everybody wants to have a disruptive solution. Another thing is, probably tech trends coming in everywhere. So I participate in so many things. Disruptive tech, tech trends, festival in San Francisco. Everybody wants to have disruptive solutions to, uh, you know, break this, uh, you know, particular ecosystem. At the same time, we are talking about user experience people, we talk about the usability, the harmony, the holistic view and all. Are we conflicting or what? Right? But how to deal with this situation? So these are some of the pointers I have I have found through throughout my uh, experience so far. Whenever I discuss with some of the best of the designers across the globe, you know, across the different domains and all, okay. And then I have I have tried to collect it in a very in a different perspective, right? This might be helpful to you, or this might not. You know, it is up to you. I am just trying to share these are the pointers that make lot of sense if you are. So, giving a solution in a mobile or this kind of perspective. First thing is a collaboration of content strategy. See, why this is, I am putting this is, you know, lot of time I, I came or I have heard this uh, situation that I want responsive web design but I don't want to change the content. Functionality remains same. I, I need this strategy, I need this solution but the functionality should remain changed. I cannot change functionality, it's a legal issues are there. These kind of answers you get, right? There are certain times, at the same time, as a designer also, they, they many a time, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, senior executive people, they told me uh, that they have a, they also always feel that design visibility is not there. What do I mean? So, we are doing, let's say, example, user research or UI or something, but we never try to involve them. We never try to make something somewhere that they can see okay, what is happening. See, we need to understand this. If we always work in a very s silo mode, right, as a design, 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 it won't work. That is the required co-creation. So what we, we do is here is, let me bring you in terms of internal team and the client or management team. So internal team, what we do is, we, we do generally a play role. So what do I, what do I mean, uh, you know, what do I mean is, uh, we work on, a, a kind of role changing role, you can say six hats or Edward D. Bono, whatever you want to say, we do it practically. Also at the same time, we as a team, because see we need to have, we need to work as a, you know, we need to bring that agileness in the system, right? It's very important within the team. So what we do is internally also, we do act. How, how many people uh, uh, believe that acting or a movie or a motion can impact you or your senses the best? Everybody, then why we are not following? After seeing Guru or uh, certain movies, we feel like, you know, tomorrow onwards I will put my paper down and I will be Dhirubhai Ambani next day. Right? Everybody thinks like that. Why? It impacts you. 
then why are we not using the same thing? So in one and a half months back, we have done one act for life in circus, entire design team. And everybody played a different role. What I'm trying to say is, it is very easy to say or speak, but when you do, when you act, it is very difficult. And we have a video, video shoot also. So we understand ki what we do. And when we talk internally, we are open. We are open to our colleagues, we are open to our managers, we are open to our management also. The way we behave, the way we believe, the way we think, we are expressive in that sense. It is very, very important. Okay, so I'll, I'll wrap it up a little faster. The same thing you need to use a tool. So we use a lot of tools like Solidify, InVision, Proto, you know, Basecamp, and so many other tools. We also develop an internal repository of tools that helps to see collaboration, where client can anytime, anywhere, any place they can see our design, what is happening. They can taste design while I'm moving on my G Moto G, as well as iPhone, as well as on desktop, as well as on an iPad. That kind of tool we use to believe in collaboration. Yes, design style is very, very important. And the branding is also very, very important. Everybody talks about it. But how can we communicate all those things in an automatic system? See, all the time when you try to communicate, 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 what happens is it's become a human, human dependency. Avoid that. OK, yes, we are also doing a usability things. Everybody talks about visibility, we are also doing it. But another three things is very much important is this a native gesture and adaptive design. So what I'm what I'm trying to say is this. We also need to understand that whenever adapt any kind of resolution or a device or a system, we need to use its best. At the same time, we don't want to give everything. A lot of times, you know, a lot of gestures, a lot of things is mobile, a lot of people just, just try it out. But we need to give a subtle things. And the second one of the, this most, set, uh, last two points giving the maximum return to me and my team. First is the playfulness or elasticity. What we do actually? Actually we watch uh, uh, all trailers of iTunes uh, and all, all trailers so far on YouTube, whatever we found, whatever effects, and we try to observe that and we try to mimic in our design. Why? Because the motion, the animation, whatever you want to say, movie impacted a lot. How can we bring that? How can you bring the physical reality of yo-yo, this kind of yo-yo, into solution? The physical world or movie world into the digital solution. And the last thing is I want to talk about the kinetic story. We haven't got so far success in our solution, but people are very much appreciating. One of the largest company of New York, they handles the shipments like crazily, and they have a 30-year-old uh, documents and data in a paper format and they want to come up with the product where we have first time implemented and we are developing that. So what do your kinetic story? See the story, you know, always when you when you go in a flow, when you build that emotions and the then the function together, right? And the surroundings, right? It, it helps to understand the product the better. And it, it that creates the user experience. Nobody thinks if I if if I press this button, it didn't went to the next screen. That's fine. But if you have a journey, it's useful, you know. How many people go for a tracking or a picnic or a movie and all, right? You think about your own experience, you know. Your car got punctured, you don't have a food and all, but this is fine, right? It's a, it's a basic need. What I'm trying to say is, on the way, if you have, if you have that moment of uh, proud, if you have a moment of fun and, and, and the kind of flow what you had, it, it makes a lot of sense. So this is what I want to talk about. Now, these are the, some of the points. There are more things are there. But I probably lack of time. I I won't. I don't want to touch on that. But these are some of the pointers you think on it. Probably this may help you in at least uh, mobile user experience or in response web design because it's working wonderfully for us. It is giving a lot of different value. That's what I'm saying. You know why I'm saying is because I want to put a number. As Sarah told in a uh, workshop, goal right. Goal is always has to be measured. So in three and a half years, we from myself one to we are twenty. And next, uh, by December 2015, we will be 35, including our first design student in Dallas. How about that? People will invest us. And, and believe me, I, whenever I travel, I, I can tell you last one word is, people are looking for a better user experience. Industries, senior executives, they are asking. We are looking for a user experience. We are looking for a better experience. We, we are looking for a CX or UX or whatever you want to say. People are asking. It's an opportunity for all of us 
if we can convert that into a reality in terms of product, in terms of numbers, because why numbers? Business. Right? Products. When you when you see your products in the limelight, you will you will enjoy that. Thank you.